35th week of pregnancy. Important information about the 35th week of pregnancy. Among the important notes during this period are the following. The fetus is progressing towards the pelvis and this can be felt when sitting. The frequency of going to the toilet increases. This is because the head of the fetus is pressing on the bladder. Some pregnant women develop urinary incontinence in several positions, such as laughing or sneezing. The mother feels more movements and kicks of the fetus. You should immediately go to the doctor in the event of any of the signs of childbirth, such as labor pain, bleeding, water loss in the head. True labor lasts for an hour, once every five minutes. Fetal development in the 35th week of pregnancy. The development of the fetus at this stage is as follows. The fetus reaches a degree of maturity that enables it to live outside the womb without needing special assistance, where it has a 99% chance of survival. The baby at this stage weighs about 2.3 kilograms and is about 46.2 centimeters in length. During this period the baby continues to grow, slowly pushing more organs aside to make room for themselves, which increases pressure on the uterus. The baby's hands and feet are growing and gaining more layers of fat. The layer of fat surrounding the fetus's body makes up about 15% of its body weight and may reach about 30% of its weight. The bones of the skull remain soft to facilitate future transit through the birth canal. The liver is developing at this stage and begins to drain waste from the child's body. Examinations of the 35th week of pregnancy. Pregnancy tests during this period include the following. Routine checkups. Routine examinations are performed, such as, fetal weight assessment, blood count, iron in the blood, and urine test. Streptococcus bacteria test. A streptococcal strep test can be performed and this examination is not mandatory. It aims to detect bacteria in the vagina that may cause many problems for the child during the birth process. If this type of bacteria is present, a certain treatment is required during childbirth to avoid any problems. Fetal monitoring examination. A fetal monitoring examination is performed during this period, especially if the pregnancy is at risk, or if there is a decrease in fetal movements. By placing a device on the pregnant woman's abdomen and checking the fetus's heart rate for 20 minutes, through this examination, it is possible to assess the levels of oxygen that pass through the placenta to the fetus's brain. Sometimes this examination is performed for women who are not at risk of pregnancy, in order to assess the activity of the fetus and the mother in labor.